when you join say hello <laughs> let me know where you're tuning in from in this beautiful planet earth that we're existing on um and if you're watching the replay always say hashtag replay i super value these platforms as a tool of connectivity hey chad hey c sparker hey jenny uh i really value these platforms as a tool of connectivity so if you don't say hello if you don't say that you've joined if you don't like let me know like oh my gosh like hi i'm here and even if it's on the replay it makes me really sad because i really value connecting on these platforms and i really value getting to know who's watching and engaging and uh your questions and what's going on with you in your world so anyway if you've never met me before my name is colleen gallagher i'm the founder of colleen gallagher international which is a online coaching and education company I started this back in 2018 with one book, which is called Live Your Truth, Begin Your Journey to Freedom and Healing. And I desperately was searching and was craving to find another narrative in life. I was desperately, desperately needing another way to exist, another way to be, because um, I was living in a corporate job in New Zealand, uh, working for a $400 million company and i just was so unhappy i was so unfulfilled i was so like drained i was so like when is this ever going to get better because i can't stand doing this another minute and i just want to breathe and i really began this journey of what am i going to do with my life like i was 26 at the time and i have 80 plus years left of my life and I can't see myself going day in and day out to this corporate career where yes, I get to travel. Yes, I have the company card. Yes, there's gonna be great opportunities, but there was just something inside of me. It was like this inner knowing and this inner calling that I was meant for more, that I was meant for greatness, that I was really wanting to be here to make a difference in this world. And I wanted to make uncapped income from it. I wanted to be able to know that just because I was helping people like a nonprofit didn't mean that I couldn't become like a multiple six figure earner or multimillionaire. Um, or I couldn't be someone with a, with a big brand that would be able to help people and also be famous and be wealthy and like know everything when working out. Like I didn't have to live in poverty or live in, in, in like a scarcity mindset to also have this big life. And so I really began this journey of personal development, this journey of awakening, this journey of being committed and being devoted to a power that's higher than me, that feels like at times it's like a thread that, that's pulling me, that's guiding my mind to move in a certain direction, to, to function in a, in a, in a, in a I don't know, in a, in, a, in a movement that's allowing me to, to be guided by something to un reveal to me how beautiful and how amazing this life is going to be. And what I've called that is creating your fairy tale life, how to create your fairy tale life for overachievers, which is really creating your life by design, taking intentional time, being intentional with your mind, your subconscious mind, and really drawing out pen to paper. How am I going to make this life work for me? Um, hold on. Okay, how am I going to make this life work for me? How am I going to make the things that I want to do be able to 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 happen? Where I get to make uncapped income to impact tens of thousands of people, millions of people throughout my life by just being myself. By just knowing my story, by just sharing the wisdom that's inside of me, by by being able to tell my life story as a testament to what's happened and that be supportive for others' awakenings. So I started this journey back in 2018, really, when I, when I started my business and I've been able to support people to really understand how do you begin to grow your confidence? And that's what I want this live to be on is how do you begin to grow confidence in who you are and what you know and why you're really here? So as I get into that, hold on, I just want to check you really quick. As I get into like building your confidence, I wanted to share like, why is that important? And that's really kind of the first part of this live that I did of like being able to know that you're here for something great. And in that greatness, being able to know and be guided how to take the correct action for you to get the results that you want to get so that your income, your impact, your life isn't dependent on anybody else. It's fully you being in your authentic truth, tuning in intuitively to 
the guidance system that we all are uh, or have the availability to hear, to communicate with, to uh, have a relationship with, and then to take action in a way that supports you to just live a life beyond your wildest dreams. So before I get into really how to grow confidence, I want to kind of share a little bit of what happened my day yesterday because it was like one of those days that was like, oh my God, this is like a magic carpet that my life is just getting wilder and wilder and wilder. I like need to take a deep breath or like grab a grounding mat to make sure I'm still on planet earth because the way that this life is going is just absolutely like out of this world. I can't even imagine that it would be this good. So let's begin. <laughs> so yesterday... I wake up and if you guys haven't been seeing, I've been on my workout game, like on it. Like I'm looking super great. I feel super great. I look healthy. I look happy. Um, I'm like really on it. So I wake up, do my arms. I really want to work on my arms being more toned and I do that. And then I had to go to the DMV, which is where we like get our driver's license renewed because I needed to renew mine. And I am on my way there and I have like this perfect Uber driver for those of you know I don't drive so I had this like perfect Uber driver like literally it was like a Tesla that was like red and slick and like had like deep house music like I literally felt like did this like car like just like pull up like literally out of the quantum field um for like literally with my type of music everything and I just like boop swooped right in like he had the door open and I like swooped right in I get to the DMV I literally there's no line I like literally give my paper by the time I'm done with my paper they like call me to do my thing pay my money and then I go take my photo and I looked like gorgeous because obviously we all need a good DMV photo and I was like can I look at the photo like I need to make sure that it looks good because like everyone's gonna see this photo and think it's me and he was like well we normally don't do that but you're the most dressed up here so sure I'll let you look at it so he's like it's a great photo it's great so I was like okay good so it was like super funny and I was like I may I might have to charge you if you don't show me my photo and post you on social media like you're not giving me my right to see my own photo and I was like that I paid for which is even crazier that he said that people can't usually see their photos and so um Anyway, uh, then I go to this, um, I look at coffee shops. I like to like work from different places. So I was like, okay, well, if I have to go to the DMV, I'll just work at a coffee shop that's near there. So I packed my bag and I go to this coffee shop. And this coffee shop, there was one called Liberation Coffee Shop, which was a little bit further than I wanted to go. There was another one that was like Alf, Alfiti, A-L-F-I-T-I or something. And so I pack my bag and I go there and what do you know? If you guys don't know, I love rose matchas. So what do they have? They have a rose matcha, which is like not abundant in LA. Like there's only a few coffee shops. One, I should say that I know that had a rose matcha. This is the second one in all of LA. So I was like, oh, I'm so excited. Like my favorite matcha. I chose this. Like, okay. And they have like this little patio. Like it's like a wooden patio with like flowers that are over it, like bushes. And then there's like the road. So it kind of felt like in a way I'm from the Midwest felt like a back patio that was on like a back road except it was like a main road with all these flowers and cars were like going by and it was just like oh my god I feel like I'm like time traveling out of LA like somewhere else and so I'm sitting there and I start like doing my writing and I do my post for yesterday and I send my emails and I have like these ideas coming through me and all of a sudden I just get really emotional like I'm sitting there and I'm writing and I'm working and it was almost like as I'm time traveling this like deep wave of memories was coming up from my coming up from my mind like like a like a like a bubbling like a bubbling pot like like a boiling pot like literally like it was like like these these my my thoughts and my imagination was bubbling and it was going and so i am like bubbling with these memories and these memories are just coming up to the top of my surface like memories that i totally had forgotten about memories from like when i was in high school memories from when I was in elementary school like it just like these deep memories of moments where I felt like rejected or I felt like abandoned and I felt like I wasn't worthy like all these things that were like coming up and I was like whoa so I'm like sitting there kind of having like an emotional moment for no reason like I shouldn't say no reason but I'm sitting there having an emotional moment and as I'm doing that it's like <sighs> I'm like okay I get a phone call and this phone call ended up being like an hour phone call and it was all about, it was with a, with a client of mine and it was really all about accepting your lessons and accepting your blessings and knowing in life, sometimes when you're taking certain actions in your life of when people are offering you lessons versus blessings and when you 
can change your mindset on how certain things happen. So like all these moments that were coming up from my past, you know, I was like, oh my God, like this is such so painful to remember. Like, why is my brain even focusing on this or reliving this right now? Like, I don't even want to remember this. But instead of that, like when this person called me, a client of mine, and we were talking, I was looking like, why am I looking at like, I don't want to remember this. Why am I not looking at like, wow, this is such a blessing that this memory that's deeply embedded in my subconscious mind, that's deeply embedded as a memory, capsulated in my mind that is playing out in my life, that it's coming up and it's boiling up to the surface that I can let it go. It's boiling, it's coming from within and going outward so that I can be free, so that I don't have to live with this memory running a subconscious program in my mind of a feeling that I'm used to, a feeling abandoned, a feeling rejected, a feeling whatever that it is. Like, thank God that this memory is now being released and that energy is being restored back into the world. And so I'm sitting there while this is all happening, like this is whatnot. Hello, Luxus, how are you? Um, I'm sitting there while this is all happening, right? Like it's, it's like literally, and I don't know how much time has went by. I don't, I, I think I left at 9.30. Maybe I got home around two. So this all happened like within a few, maybe one. It's all happened within some time. Like, but I, but it's blah, 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 bubbling. And as I'm sitting there and these different stories, that was just like one story. There was many, many stories that were coming up to the surface and I was like feeling emotional And I was like feeling this moment of like, okay, a question that I got a lot this week from my clients and a question that I got a lot this week from my, like my, we did my writer's course, how to write, how to create, write, share, and receive your lifestyle career in four weeks. And also my wisdom channel community, which was so amazing. I don't want to totally change the subject, my ADHD, but but which is totally amazing because we have one live group call a month now. So that's brand new in that wisdom channel. We now have a monthly group call that's live, which is absolutely incredible. And so one thing that we really we really dove into, and this is kind of what happened with with this scenario as well, is that how do we grow our confidence as these mystical, magical people? How do we how do we grow our confidence when we have these stories in our mind that are replaying of why we can or cannot have something of of us used to feeling rejected, we're used to feeling abandoned, we're used to feeling like we don't have money, we're used to feeling like we're not chosen, we're used to feeling like um, things are going to be really hard, that the guy at the DMV isn't going to let us look at our photo. Like we're used to these things that we feel like aren't going to support us to, to get where we want to go. And so growing your confidence in a way that I just want to share is that yesterday, even though I had all this going on from an emotional standpoint, yesterday, even though I had all of this going on from like, um, like a manifestation point and like I still took the action to write a post, to post it on social media, to respond to my clients, to respond to my team members, to make sure we have the email go out, to reply to my clients. Like we still had all the things. So how do you grow? Con- like we still did all the things like while this was happening. So even though you're like a deeply overachiever, magical person who you feel everything, you feel like the deepness of this world and you are committed to the path of developing yourself to being the highest version of yourself. Confidence comes when you still take action through your emotion. Confidence comes when you still are able to love yourself through whatever it is that you're experiencing or whatever it is that you're going through. Confidence happens with everything that I just shared is when you're able to to sit there and, and witness yourself instead of judge yourself when you're able to go, okay, like these are the things that I said I was going to do today. I'm going to the DMV. I'm doing this. I'm doing that. And then you realize all of the blessings that are happening for you on the way. And as those blessings are happening for you, you also are able to see like, okay, I can still take this action. I can still do this to move my mission forward, to move um, my peace forward, to move my whatever it is like forward. And when you do that, you just take whatever life is throwing at you instead of being so rigid of like everything must happen this way or it must be like this or it must be like this and if it doesn't go this way or someone doesn't abide the rules that I've played on like then my life isn't going to be great or then it's like I can't function or I get in a disarray and I get in a big um, mind storm where I can't like do anything or I can't function because um 
things didn't go as planned. Instead, it's really growing your confidence is sitting there and sitting with yourself through the adventures of life, the daily nuances of life, and still taking action on what's going to move you forward. That's how you build your confidence. It's not like knowing you have this things of list to do and then you just get distracted by the adventure of life and thinking that these to-do lists doesn't need to get done. That's going to decrease your confidence because you're not following through on the actions you know your soul is here to do. You know your soul has called you forward for. However, you also get to realize that when life has you at a coffee shop having a rose matcha, which is your favorite, and place you there divinely and you're having an emotional moment, feeling like you're sitting on a back patio watching cars go by, and you feel that, you also get to experience that and trust it and know that you're good enough to have both simultaneously happen. It's not like this or that has to happen for you to grow confidence. It's everything is happening, everything is growing, and that naturally evolves and grows your confidence. So anyway, I wanted to come on and I wanted to do a live. I wanted to share it. It felt really alive, felt really present for me. And I hope this really offered a support of how you can grow your confidence and how you can see yourself as a light worker, as a healer, as a highly sensitive being, and be able to still grow your confidence in who you are, be able to do what it is that you're meant to do. And to take the next steps for this, like really supporting you in your expression, really supporting you with community, I highly, highly recommend for expression, joining my writer's course, how to create, write, share, and receive your lifestyle career in four weeks, which is through the month of all of September. We have three more live calls and you get access to all of the uh, instant videos. You can just message me writer or on Facebook, you have the link already. And then the second thing I recommend is if you're really struggling with confidence and you liked this conversation, you liked what I was sharing, you are like, oh, how do I navigate these emotions and how do I do all those things, Colleen? I highly recommend our Wisdom Channel community, which is just an incredible space for you to be with more like-minded individuals and rise. So anyway, just message me Wisdom Channel or you can get on there. I love you guys. If this helped, please comment, please share it. And I can't wait to hear from you soon. I love you.